They don't call him Super Mario for nothing, but can the European Central Bank president push the euro lower in the final weeks of this year? It's desirable for many ECB policymakers, as a weaker currency should help to prop up inflation. And it should be simple enough. This Thursday, assuming the ECB intends to deliver on the very heavy hints it has made, policy will be eased further. Some combination of a lower deposit rate and a beefed up bond buying programme are very widely expected. Possibly too widely, we'll come on to that in a minute. Meanwhile, again barring disaster, the Fed will bump up interest rates in less than a month. Exciting stuff for currencies wonks and a perfect recipe for ramming the euro lower against the dollar. So why isn't the euro tanking? It has, of course, fallen pretty hard, as this euro trade-weighted index shows. But why isn't it in freefall? One theory is that the case for selling the euro is just too well known and priced in. The trade has been killed by its own popularity. Unless Mario Draghi somehow delivers Christmas early for the Uber doves, it's hard to see how he can hit the euro further. Buy the rumour, sell the fact. The thing is, another theory put forward to explain the euro's ability to hold above parity with the dollar is that just not enough investors are selling it yet. The Parker Index, which tracks currency managers' returns, shows that their performance has been rather drab recently. If they were selling the euro as gleefully as they were at the start of this year, you'd expect to see them doing better. As this chart here shows, as you can see here in March, currency managers did very well while the dollar was pushing higher against the euro. This time around, currency managers aren't doing so well. So while trading the euro against the dollar should be like shooting fish in a barrel, it's actually more of a brain teaser than it seems. 